How we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambulant rejection technology gain times seven and eight. Um, I've explained this many times, a lot of on demonstrations, that why a black technology, why black technology in projection screens and outdoor screens is far more superior than a light gray screen. I've said this many times before, there's no point in you going out and spending the money for a projector that has really good contrast capability if you're never going to see it, there's just no point in doing it. All right, so I'm showing you the gray sample sheet. Well, actually, I have one here. This is actually bare silver screen, a little bit of Metallica paint and some Christmas glitter uh, to get this gray look. And I'm just showing you exactly what you are missing from your screen. You would have some people make you believe or try to get you to believe that a gray screen has the ability to be able to produce contrast just as well as a black screen. But it cannot do that. It cannot do it all. Even with the lights out, the screen is still going to come up gray. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a few demonstrations. Over here, I'm using my Sony projector just to make sure we have enough powerful projector. Just to show you that even at a 4300 lumen projector that's 1920 by 1200, that is a WXGA projector, doesn't make a difference. You still will be lacking your picture quality due to the fact that a light gray screen or white screen will never ever be able to compete with a black screen. All right, so first things first. Let's kick that out of the way. And so we got some of the white wall displaying and we have the gray screen in the center. And then the big screen you're seeing, the black screen is our Supreme 8 using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 8. All right, so let's begin with some colors. Just to show you what you're getting from your projector. Now, as you can see, when it comes to my projector, I'm getting the best. I've had people ask me many times what projector I'm using. I'm using a Sony projector. I'll put the model number at the bottom of the description. But this is just to show you, if I use my high-end projector, all right, that I'm still not achieving the picture quality that I want. Now, see how faded out the picture looks? It's supposed to have some depth to it. It's supposed to have some color to it. It's supposed to have some pop. You can't get this if you're using a gray screen. And this is why majority of these videos that are being done on these gray screens and white screens have to be done in the dark. If it's not done in the dark, the picture is not, the picture quality, number one, it's going to fail. It is going to fail miserably. And there you go. Now, as I said before, any black screen or black surface or black paint or whatever it may be can pull contrast. That is yes. But here's the thing, when you're developing black screen paint, it has to have the ability to pull white levels and black levels at the same time. And this is what makes our technology unique. That's supposed to be a red pepper. Doesn't look like a red pepper on the gray screen, does it? Now I paid around $340 for this projector I have right now. I'm getting every penny worth on my projector. And the background of this demonstration is black. Like I said, White screens and gray screens cannot produce black contrast. They don't have the capability to do so. Now the projector I'm using has a 1000 to 1 contrast. That's it. Now the Supreme 8 is ultra short though compatible. A lot of people have been asking me, is the screen paint ultra short though compatible? Yes it is. Can it be used outside? Yes it can be. I've done many demonstrations of our technology outside. One of the ones I like to do is on a big 180 inch screen. So you gotta ask yourself that question, what am I really getting from my projector? Some people think it's their projector that's the problem. It's not your projector, it is your screen. Unless you're using a knockoff. If you're using a knockoff projector, then it's your projector and your screen. This is me showing you bright, beautiful colors. 
Now you see how high the white levels are? Look at the white levels on our technology. Look at that. Look how high the white levels are. And that's pretty impressive for a black screen. Now, for those of you who want to know what the screen is made out of, actually the screen is made out of canvas. Usually we don't support canvas at all, we don't support that material, but I found out a really cool trick. If you actually um, prime the surface with two coats, you pretty much get rid of that uh, rough surface, that gritty interior, and then it gives you the ability to be able to apply our technology to it and it'll look incredible. Now, I know we're going to have those out there saying, well, look, we can do the same thing. I can get a canvas screen and I can coat it with my light gray screen paint, but bottom line is you're still gonna get that in the middle. That's what you're gonna get. It's supposed to be bright red, beautiful peppers instead of a, a kind of washed out image. That's because we're under a lot of ambient light in here, that's why. All right, let's change over from there. Let's grab this demonstration right here. Clicked. There we go. All right, just in case of my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambilight Rejection Technology Gain times seven and eight. This is our Supreme 8 Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint. As you can see, it looks absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna show you the back of this for those of you saying, oh, that's not canvas. Yes, it is. This is a canvas screen made out of canvas. This is drop cloth that I picked up over at Home Depot. Drop cloth, canvas drop cloth is what I'm using for my screen. I'm gonna start using canvas more often, I like it. Like I said, I guarantee you when this demonstration was done on a light screen, I guarantee it was in the dark. I guarantee it was in the dark. Or in a very poorly lit environment. Ain't no way in the world they did that demonstration on these contrast levels with this much light in the environment. Virtually impossible. And that's another thing you have to look for too. Also too, when you're watching a demonstration, especially if it's OLED, the backgrounds in OLED are always black. Now this is being done on a gray screen or white screen. That background's going to come up um, it's gonna come up kind of gray. It's gonna have a gray look to it. Sorry about that. Camera tilted over a minute. Now we're gonna remove the gray from the middle of my screen. All right? Put it over there. Shave the screen without it. We don't need it. We're gonna pull up some natural skin tones. I got a demonstration here with some kids playing. So you can see on black technology, our technology can produce very good white levels, extremely good white levels as you can see. And also too, it can produce natural skin tones. Now, you know, in the past, We've had an individual say that, hey, it's impossible. Black screen cannot pull up natural skin tones. Well, there's a difference between our technology and everyday black paint. Look at this. Natural skin tones, my friend. Natural skin tones. That's why I said Supreme 8 has a higher white level. All right, again, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I gotta go and God bless. Supreme is available on our website with free worldwide shipping and also two free blackout cloth. Thank you all. I have.